Hello everyone and welcome back to this episode of the Furtadio Experience. It's Friday, happy Friday, and Friday that means I share my insight of the week. And so today is all about designing the long game and what in the world do I mean by that? So I think last week on Friday I talked about how expectations are the enemy and biting off more than I can chew. Well, biting off more than I can chew shows up in different ways. We only get 24 hours in a day. And so, therefore, we have to, obviously, we sleep, we eat, um, you know, whether you work out, uh, you got friends, um, you know, you have all these different things, and then, then you, of course, you work, um, and then you have maybe a side project you want to get into, uh, maybe you're trying to learn, it's just like, then the day goes away, and you're like, what in the world is going on, right? And so, the, for me, I wanted to try and do everything all at once, I wanted to, you know, write a book. I wanted to start a business. I wanted to, you know, be able to just just have everything that I wanted in, in the long term right away. And that ended up having me burn out because I was trying to do everything in one day at once. Um, and in terms of, you know, thinking about baseball, uh, if you, those of you who don't know, like a bunt and a single just to get a runner on base to kind of move the chains versus always trying to hit a home run, which is what I was trying to do every single day, just hit one out of the park. Let's slow down a little bit. So I want to kind of break it down, some of my thinking about designing the long game now for myself. So where I'm at right now is I am, where where do I want to be and how am I designing that? Let's, let's go with that. So where do I want to be? And I will try to be as specific as possible. Eventually, I want to, you know, for my career, this is really speaking in terms of career, I want to eventually be a published author, I want to be a, a public speaker, and I want to have eventually either, you know, probably co-owning it because I like being on a team, and it doesn't have to be mine, but I want to, you know, own, you know, part of my brand and business of you know, helping people develop into the most conscious, engaged, fulfilled versions of themselves to you know, fulfill their potential to magnify their impact on humanity. Like, I want to own that company and, and, and kind of teach a lot of skills about that you don't learn in high school and college and traditional education, but you have an opportunity here and to also give that back and not just be selfish with it. You know, that's my long-term vision. Um, obviously, there are other aspirations. Like, I want to, you know, coach varsity sports and basketball and baseball and you know, there will be other projects I want to be around. I love being around kind of the nonprofit realm and working on different projects here and there. Um, but I'm going to kind of let those be a little more spontaneous um, in how they come up and, and kind of have my vision of, you know, having a big brand and being able to really help people along the way and inspire people to reach their, obviously, their fullest potential. But, okay, uh, now that I'm kind of pushing and challenging myself, what's this all for? To go and impact and serve humans. That's what I want to, that's what I'm working for. So that's a long game, and I was trying to do all of that in one day, and it was overwhelming myself. So let's take a step, let's take a couple steps back. Now, where am I at right now? I'm coaching youth basketball right now, so therefore I'm becoming a better coach. I am in the process of becoming a substitute teacher right now, therefore it's teaching, and I'm, I want to do a lot of workshops and uh, courses, curriculum around helping people develop these skills, these, you know, soft skills, you know, social, emotional intelligence that often get missed in traditional education. So those are some things that I'm going to be able to learn how to teach in a classroom, learn how to coach, learn how to break things down. And also, I want to be an author and public speaker while I'm doing this right now. Having a form of podcast is public speaking. I'm literally speaking into the camera. No, is there no audience, but you are listening to this in your earphones on your own time. I'm speaking to you. So that's my that's practicing for me. How can I make this experience the best possible experience for you? Because if I just am, am all over the place, you're not gonna be able to understand my message. So how can I make my message as clear as possible? And it's the same thing for my writing. I write every single day, I journal, and I also write like a little mini essay that's practicing for writing a book. And I'm honing my writing skills. So exactly what I'm doing every day is helping design my long game to eventually become a published author, to eventually become a public speaker, to eventually become and build a brand. But it's going to take a long time. Like things take a long time. It takes actually 
you know, whether you're a Jeff Bezos fan or not, he was talking about how Amazon's like little side businesses actually end up taking five to seven years, and they have a lot of cash capital and you know resources to make it happen. For the average Joe, probably you listening to this, and definitely me, we're not going to be able to start and have a successful business in one to two years. There are a lot of people, and maybe maybe you can't. There are outliers, but in general, it takes a long time to have a profitable business that you can really bring in revenue. So don't plan on having your side project be the main thing eventually, but design your life to eventually achieve that side project. And the reason I talk about the substitute teaching and the coaching is let's say you want to be a, an entrepreneur and you really want to focus on the customer. So a great position so you can learn about serving customers maybe is being a bartender or a server, right? You, you have to be able to practice and go into some of the long game. That is some thinking. Please reach out to me. I'd love to have a conversation with you and help you design your long game. And if you want to continue to work together, I'd love to do that as well. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And cheers to you. Make sure to share this podcast with a friend. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave a review. Do the whole ordeal. And send you all much love.